hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on setting powders um as you know setting powders are the thing to do right after you do your makeup so the ones that i am going to be comparing today is the cover effects perfecting setting powder which is right here it comes with a silver top and it is a clear see-through uh bottom i love that it has this little lid on it because setting powders can get so crazy y'all already know it gets everywhere without you even knowing it so i love that it has this the powder is basically white See, that's the Laura powder I just call it the Laura powder because why I call it the Laura Mercier powder but that's what it is but the Laura powder has like a little tint to it um, so it's like maybe an off-white that's what it looks like you guys are familiar with this powder I absolutely I put too much on but it dissolves I absolutely love this powder this is my favorite one nothing compares and I've tried a couple of things but as you know the cover effects is new so we're gonna you know compare the two and it comes with this dark top it's kind of purpley I don't even understand why I look so red today I look really red so I'm just gonna take uh, my beauty blending sponge and I'm going to put a little bit of the cover effects into the cap and I'm going to do the right side of my face. I'm going to take the pointy side because my concealer is already creasing. Um, and then I'm going to set that first. And then I'm going to take the bubble side and... What? And just set the rest of my face and I do it like this every single time I do my makeup because I don't feel like the big brushes like I do it with the big brushes as well but like I feel like this really sets my foundation I'm just gonna set this really good Alright, so that side of the face is all set. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I will see once I upload this video. Okay, so I'm going to try to learn Mercier on the left side. Doing the same. Oh, I need to rub the concealer in. Then I'm going to take the bubble of it, the bubble, it makes me want to say bubble wet, and set the rest of my face. I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera and then I'll come back on and tell you all the specs and what it says that the setting spray, the setting spray, what it says the setting powder is supposed to do. Okay, so I finished the rest of my face and honestly today is just not a good makeup day for me. I feel like I look really orange or red in the mirror and I didn't really highlight too much. I kind of have like more of a skin tone. Um you know highlight thing going on I didn't just I'm going to the gym so I didn't want to do too much so um, let's just get into what these uh, translucent powders say that they do so the one that I absolutely love that I just cannot find a replacement for which I am not trying to but I'm just saying you know a lot of people come out with these translucent um, powders and they're just never as good as the Laura Mercier to me so um, the Laura Mercier is a and this is what Sephora says, is a cult favorite, award-winning silky powder that touch, with a touch of sheer coverage to set makeup for lasting wear. 
flat. So basically, so basically what the Laura Mercier powder says um, is that it's translucent, it's a long-lasting wear, it, ha um, it, it doesn't have weight or texture added when you put it on, it's matte finish, it's sheer coverage, which mine is translucent, so it doesn't have any coverage at all, and then it says it gives no flashback, and what else? It blurs the look of fine lines and imperfections, and it doesn't settle into your fine lines, so that's a lot of claims, but honestly... I agree when it comes to the Laura Mercier powder. So we're just going to get into the cover effects. <clears throat> this says it is an ultra translucent loose powder that sets makeup for all day wear while imparting soft focus airbrush finish. It's lightweight. It's a loose powder. It says it's formulated without talc. So it's an incredibly um, translucent finish. And it sets the makeup for all day wear. It minimizes transfer without adding color to the skin. Um, what else? It's good for the baking technique. It's formulated with the light diffusing uh, particles that blur and smooth the skin for a perfecting airbrush look. And it doesn't look chalky or dry. It, I think that the Laura Mercier powder claims to do more than the cover effects does. I just want something to set my face and I don't want it to... In Enhance the texture of my skin because that's what I struggle with. I do want it to set all day. I have oily skin. The cover effects do not say that it controls oil, but the Laura Mercier does say it controls oil. And honestly, like I totally agree with the Laura Mercier powder. Um, every time I wear it, I just feel like my skin looks really good. Uh, the cover effects is new to me, so I don't know. I'm going to take a picture right here, and I'm going to come back after a couple of hours and update you on how I feel about my skin. But as of right now, my observation about it... Hmm... I feel like on the cover effects side, my pores are huge. And it doesn't claim to make the pores not look so huge, but they look huge. And on this um, Laura Mercier side, they are like its regular size because I do have large pores. But these look pretty good and this side looks super open like they're breathing or something. I don't know. And also for me doing the rest of my makeup, I feel like I'm not as matte on this side. Um, the cover effects side, I actually feel a little shiny right here. I don't know. But, yeah. So far, you know, I love my Laura Mercier side. But, um, I will come back in a couple hours and update you. Let me take a picture, see if we got any flashback or anything popping. Oh my gosh, it's such a bad makeup day. But anyway. Oh my gosh, is that ill? So, I don't know if it's going to zoom in on this. But <laughs> the right side of my face just don't look good to me. Like, I feel like my... Yeah, my under eye concealer is creasing really, really bad. I can tell on the picture, you probably can't. I feel like on this side, it's more blurred. Yeah, way more blurred on the picture. Like, as far as under the eyes go. Let me get closer. Let's see if you can kind of see that. Because I do have fine lines under my eyes, and I feel like... <laughs> you can see that fine line really, really good. Um... This side is just blurred. This side just seems not so blurred. Um, I am going to the gym, so I don't know uh, when I will be back on. I might update you before I go to the gym or maybe after I come from the gym, whatever kind of works. Because you guys know my days are random. I have kids, so I never know when I have time. But I will be back on, so I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Um, it is now... 551 and I believe I finished my makeup around noon or one ish um, so I haven't blot or done anything like that Ooh. why are you tell me I have mascara everywhere you've been crying have I why Cause 
Okay. So you trying to go to uh you trying to go to Outback tonight or what? Well you do that. Well, you know that you're the kids. Well just know that uh you gonna have to sweat. Bye. You gonna have he to always, sweat. Why does he always have to You gonna have to sweat. Well we're get out of here, dude. Like come on. You want me to get this camera? You want me to get up in No, I'm trying to. Do you want record. me to get up in there with you? Like, if you see my face, I am very oily, like around my brows on both sides. As far as my cheeks go, I have no oil here. On this side, I'm not oily here. Um, the pores is still intact. And it, it looks good besides just this forehead area. Um, on this side, my pores are still really bad. Um, it's a little more shiny in this area. Um, my pores are still huge as ever. And I am basically oily over my brow, just like on the other side. So, what I can say is that this is not a um, bad setting powder. I love Cover FX. I love the company and everything that it brings out or they bring out um just as far as it comparing to the laura mercier for in my own opinion i would go with the laura mercier it just has this texture and it just really sets nicely it doesn't enhance the texture and the pores and i have a lot of that and it just makes it look really good even when i was recording and um you know on instagram and snapchat follow me there um, it just looked really good on this side and it, it didn't look bad on this side, but you can tell it was just something different on this side to me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. And if you want to get notifications every time I upload a video, click that bell right on my left, your right of the screen. And as usual, God bless you all and have a great day, night, or whatever it is where you are. Bye.